Welcome to another developer update. This is Jeff. I'm one of the guys from the Overwatch team. We're here today to talk to you guys about seasonal content. So seasonal content is something that Blizzard has been embracing for years. If you go back and look at World of Warcraft, we did our Hollow's End event and the, the Feast of Winter Vale. You've seen in recent years, Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone have done seasonal content as well. And it's something we really wanted to take on and do cool things with uh, in Overwatch. And you might be asking yourself, well, why? What's so cool about seasonal content? And for us, when we think about running a game as a live service, we like to talk about it in terms of the game having a heartbeat and the players really feeling the life of the game and feeling how the game changes and evolves over time. There's also those cool events that happen in games if you've been playing them for a while that it always feels very special when the event happens again later on. So, you know, I always think back to when the pumpkins show up in World of Warcraft, you know, Oliver Orgrimmar, or each year when we open presents under the tree in Ironforge on the 26th of December. It always just feels like a cool event. I look forward to logging into the game at that time every year and sort of experiencing that moment. So. We want to do this in Overwatch as well. We feel like the world that we're exploring is really cool. We've had this rich universe that we've been developing, and we want to really create this uh, feel and excitement for you guys of, wow, who knows what Blizzard's going to do next to really make Overwatch feel cool the next time I log in, or what might be around the corner next month? You know, what cool thing might they be c cooking up? So we hope that the Summer Games was a big surprise for all of you. I don't know if anybody saw it coming or was expecting this, but this is the first event that we're trying. And if it's really cool and successful and you guys like it, we'll probably have this event run again next summer as well. Maybe it'll have some new content in it as, as well. But this is the type of thing we want to do where sometimes we explore very hardcore competitive parts of the game. Like you saw us do that in our June update when we added competitive play. Obviously that was targeted at a certain player type um, who wanted that high sense of competition in the game. And something like Summer Games is targeted towards more the light side of Overwatch to show you that Overwatch isn't just a fun competitive FPS shooter, but a really cool gaming platform as, as well. So, you know, just to talk about Summer Games a little bit, there's a lot of cool stuff going on with it. Obviously, earning Summer Games loot boxes is going to feel very cool. We give you one of these loot boxes just for logging in during the event, as well as a cool player icon. Uh, so make sure to log in and, and check it out. Summer Games loot boxes all contain guaranteed one Summer Games item. And Summer Games items can range from legendary skins, epic skins. We've got highlight intros. We've got cool new animations for the characters that you can do while you're emoting. We've got player icon sprays and voice lines and um, victory poses, of course. So all of that stuff is in the Summer Games loot boxes. Each one you'll guaranteed get, get one of those. You can, by chance, get more than one Summer Games item in a loot box as well. And the normal loot boxes won't exist as the event runs. So the event runs roughly for three weeks. And during the event, as you level up normally, you'll be getting Summer Games loot boxes instead of the, the other loot boxes. Also in the store, the loot boxes are now replaced with Summer Games loot boxes as well. So this is something new that we're trying. We think it's cool. We, we want these items to feel extra special and very rare. So we, we don't want everybody running around all the time in every single Summer Games item. And we actually don't expect that all players will get all Summer Games items. We want this to be a thing where six months from now, when the Summer Games has long passed, that you look back on somebody who's in that cool, you know, Summer Games Zarya skin and go, oh man, I can't wait until next year when the Summer Games happens. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to get that skin. So our normal loot box items, um, eventually you can get all of them, either through playing, buying loot boxes in the store, unlocking them through credits. Whereas we wanted the seasonal loot boxes to feel more rare and special and the items within them to feel more rare and special. Um, so for that reason, they'll only be available for those few weeks, and you won't be able to buy those items for credits either. So hopefully that will make them feel extra cool when you have one. 
Um, and hopefully you won't feel too bad about it if you don't get one because you know that the event might happen again next year and then you'll have another chance. The other cool thing that we're doing with the, the Summer Games event specifically is we did a custom brawl. Even though Lucio's favorite sport in the world is ice hockey, it is Summer Games. So we also love soccer at Blizzard and we really wanted to do a cool soccer brawl featuring Lucio. And we wanted it to take place in Rio. So Lucio's from Brazil. There's a lot of celebration happening at this time of year in Rio, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity to align all of these things and feature Lucio in our soccer event, which we're calling Lucio Ball. So this is a 3v3 soccer match, basically. It lasts very briefly. I, I think the match length is something like four minutes, and it's a lot of fun. It's completely different than what you're used to in normal Overwatch. Lucio's abilities are roughly the same, but a little bit different. You're not trying to kill each other in this. You're actually just trying to score goals. Uh, and we did a lot of things just to make it, you know, funner and better. There's, there's uh, jump zones where you can jump really high and fast. Uh, you can skate on the walls sort of infinitely at a very high speed. Uh, there's cool replays. We did custom cards for it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. A lot of it is a big experiment for us to see, you know, is this fun and cool? Did we run the event for the right length of time, you know, roughly three weeks? And this is something we'll take into future events. We have a lot of ideas about other seasonal content that we want to make that if this one is successful, or if you guys have feedback how we could make this one better, we'll incorporate that in future events moving forward. So that's seasonal content. We're working on a ton of other stuff right now. Season two for competitive is one of our main focuses in development right now. We're gonna update you guys on that later. I know you have a lot of questions about that. But for now, enjoy the summer games, enjoy our first seasonal event, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks again.